Hello, good morning and welcome to today's morning report on Tuesday the 28th of April with me Richard Perry, market analyst at Tantec Markets. The European trading session has got off to a slightly negative start really. Um, that's coming amid a bit of caution I think ahead of this FOMC meeting that we've got on Wednesday. And the uh, Wall Street markets were a little bit cautious in themselves overnight. Uh, S&P 500 up around the all-time high levels, um, but just failing to really be able to push on from that. It seems to be the consistent theme of the last um, few weeks and months, really, in the S&P. Um, and uh, today we've seen um, Asian markets just slightly cautious as well. A little bit mixed, really. I think that's sort of... Um, also uh, coming, that, I mean, you could argue that's probably despite the fact that retail sales in Japan uh, were pretty negative, actually, uh, showing a, a significant decline there um, and deterioration in the retail sales. So that's not uh, not a great bit of data out from there. But um, as I said, yeah, the European markets down pretty much across the board, really. FTSE down 0 0.7, DAX down oh, almost half a percent. And uh, that's uh, pretty much what we've got um, in the uh, early themes. Not a great deal else other than that um, driving the markets. Um, although there is, um, there was a, a jump yesterday in the markets as the um, news filtered through that um, the uh, Greeks were sort of re-aligning re, um, their negotiation team um, to sort of sideline Varoufakis, who's become a bit of a arguably a bit of a liability in that process so um, maybe they're trying to sort a deal out and maybe getting rid of Varoufakis off that um, or away from the front line of those negotiations would help that process but um, in terms of across the board uh, in terms of forex trading um, this sort of consolidation and, and I say consolidation because it's a pretty broad consolidation um, in the dollar this is the big run that we've had higher in the dollar and in the last couple of months it's had a very choppy um, up and down consolidation but sideways moving it is um, and that seems to be continuing um, and you're sort of not far off the the lows of this range uh, and that kilo comes in at 96.17 and um, I'll talk about this across the forex majors in a minute because there are some some big big levels that are coming up on these levels on these uh, forex majors and uh, that could be an interesting test in the coming days now um, the uh, as I said that that dollar index is sort of consolidating slightly today nothing too significant and uh, sort of chopping between gains and losses against euro and sterling and also the yen nothing too significant there um, and uh, yeah even against the um, commodity currencies no significant uh, no really significant moves although the, the Aussie dollar has started to sort of gain a little bit um, but uh, again, I'll, that's my actually my chance of the day, so I'll focus on that in a bit. Um, in terms of economic announcements today, well, we've got the UK GDP. Uh, UK GDP comes out at 9:30. I'll, I'll um, look at. St I'll try and time my sterling analysis so that um, I uh, look at that in the wake of the GDP numbers. But um, GDP last. This is the preliminary um, table of the preliminary uh, GDP data uh, on Reuters uh, annoyingly it doesn't give the the quarterly for the final um, but uh, this is the prelim data and that was 0.5% last time out on the prelim so the first reading of Q4 GDP was 0.5 and that's the expectation this mo this time around as well 0.5 but the final number was actually 0.6 so they actually got upgraded in, in the um, in the subsequent readings uh, last quarter but uh, 0.5 would be a slight decline therefore on the 0.6 final number on Q4 and then into the afternoon we've got the US consumer confidence and the consumer confidence still is on this nice upward track and you would argue that um, all the while despite the fact that uh, inflation has um, sort of um, sort of come back towards zero really a slight dip into deflation but back to zero on inflation and um, that's all well and good because uh, consumer confidence continues to rise so as that continues to be the case then um, there's uh, inflation around those levels isn't really a massive problem in fact it's quite a benefit um, so uh, 102.5 so that's in expected to increase again from uh, from last month on the consumer confidence for the US. So that takes me to my chart of the day which is the Aussie dollar and this is um, the Aussie dollar chart. Now I talked to you earlier about that um, that dollar index level which was um, 
coming close to being tested um, and the fact that uh, it's sort of been in this um, in this sideways consolidation it's similar sort of story with the Aussie sideways consolidation it's had a strong run actually strong rebound in the last few uh, last couple of weeks really and it looks like it's going to be testing this 97 uh, sorry 7937 level and um, that is the big um, big overhead resistance because if it breaks out that of that you would argue if it sort of then confirm that breakout that would be a base pattern on the Aussie so that's an important uh, level also what you've got above that is 8025 which is this sort of old support that's become new resistance um, so uh, you had the old support in late early sorry early Jan and then you reacted uh, in late Jan to find that resistance so that is that is um, an important level as well so between that um, seven, uh, 79.37 up towards 80.25 that's a big sort of resistance area and I think if you started to see the Aussie breaking through that 80.25 level then that would suggest I think that the bulls are really beginning to get a bit of traction look at these momentum indicators they are, are still rising that RSI is now the highest since June on the uh, on the uh, on the daily chart and also the MACD lines are continuing to rise they haven't been above neutral since July and they are close to doing that now they're very very close in fact the even um, they are sort of beginning to break above neutral so it is interesting that this is an improving chart and if certainly if this base pattern can complete and break higher then maybe there is a turnaround at um, uh, underway but at the moment I think you've still got to continue to play this as a consolidation range don't go um, assuming that the breakout will come before it comes because um, that's not certainly that would be a risk playing counter trend as well um, but uh, I would be more inclined to play this as a range still um, in the meantime though you've still got this is the hourly chart this is the hourly chart which shows the uh, an uptrend intact good strong uptrend breaking through resistance levels all the way using support sorry I'll just have to reset that because that's annoying it's breaking through support sorry breaking through resistance and pushing higher that's that 7937 level and it seems to be moving towards that at the moment um, but uh, what you'd be looking at is in an, on a near term basis now <laughs> I was going to say on a near term basis look to use sort of dips as a buying opportunity but I think what ultimately will happen in the next couple of days is, is more than likely that you'll see a consolidation starting to set in because you've got the FOMC tomorrow night sort of 18 hours away um, sorry, 18 hours, sorry 36 hours away and um, with that in mind I think that uh, you need to just keep a very close eye on these support levels at 7840 and 7850 they're two big levels there so 10 pips worth of big support there and if that starts to break down then you might see a little bit of a, a correction you still got that uptrend in play on the uh, on the technicals you've still got that uptrend that comes in around 7770 at the moment although I suppose that is probably gonna in if you do see a correction it would probably come back towards a 78 figure level uh, would be around about where that would come in um, but I'd say be cautious in front of FOMC because although this chart does look strong uh, FOMC has a, a tendency to be a big reactor to these uh, these forex majors anyway I wish you good luck in your trading today and I will speak to you later thank you